Hi chums, we're on the potatoes again and these ones are Charlotte um, They were planted in around about April time a bit later than usual but it was so cold and miserable at the start of the year we, get, we got a bad start but then we got a really good start after that um, I'm sure you've seen some other people's reveals the potatoes are doing really well this year so hopefully these will be as good as the others I'm looking for potatoes here today that I can, I can bake I've never baked these before, but um, somebody left a message last night, and I can't remember the name, to say that they bake the bigger ones of these that they get. So I'll give that a go, you know. Um, right, as you can see, see that there, that's just, that's just about perfect there. Um, as you can see, the camera is working again. So, uh, out of the camera, the, I've got the computer working because if I hadn't, you wouldn't be watching this. But uh, I need to say thanks to some people like Dale and Paul and Gary and Robert. Robert, who offered to come to my house and sort the thing out, which was very kind of him. And Robert, <laughs> don't worry, I'm not saying it'll never happen because. I still have a couple of problems, but it's more to do with actually using the Windows 8. Um, so you, you could get called on yet, you know. But the other thing is, Robert, if you ever want to call out here and see what I'm at, you're very, very welcome. Don't feel that you have to come on because, only because there's a computer issue. If you want to call in and see what I'm doing, you're very welcome. Robert just lives a few miles from me, um, so he's not far away. So the invitation is there, Robert, any time. The door is always open and you'll be very welcome. Um, Paul, um, that's Paul, is life in Thailand. Everybody made suggestions. Mike, there's people, Gary, they made suggestions um, that to help me and, and sent me in the right direction. And there's one channel I noticed called um, the Official Windows 8. And I got a lot of information there. No. What I didn't understand, I thought I was just completely stupid, you know. But one of the things I didn't know was that a lot of the things we took for granted in previous versions of Windows aren't there anymore. <coughs> things like Windows Media Player. Whenever I was uploading the, cap the videos, I got audio but no video. And I discovered on the Windows Media Player that you now have to actually buy Windows Media Player. It's not, it doesn't come as part of the deal and I was talking to a lady in the place where I bought the computer and she was saying that the reason we're getting so much well this is, I'm talking about EEC here in Europe um, the reason we're getting so much power for such good value in our computers is because the EEC ruled that it was illegal for computer manufacturers to load up computers with loads and loads of software that we'll never use and then charge us for it so we all know what that what that's like because I have loads of computers and software on them that I never ever opened. You know, it's like sage money thing. You know, that's 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 pretty very good. I've never had any reason to use that. You know, but uh, so now what's happening is you get loads of processing power and memory and all the rest of it. But to get the things that we were used to getting for what we thought was part of the deal, I've just thrown in for nothing. We were paying for them, so now you have to pay for those things, you know. So, um, the Windows official Windows 8 guy told me to go and download V. I think it's VLC player, which is a which is a free movie player, and it basically takes over from Windows Media Player, which is the one I would always have used as my default. So my default now is this VLC and it works perfectly and it means I can actually see my videos when I upload them so I'm very pleased with that um, so thanks to him it's a good thing what I've discovered with this Windows Media Player is they talk about, or not Windows, Windows 8 they talk about it being intuitive right now I don't have a phone that uses apps I've got a very simple basic Nokia that's all I want, I don't need loads of apps and stuff if I want to make a phone call, I make a phone call. If I need to send a text, I make a text. But I don't play games. I don't do internet or anything else on the phone. And I don't do all these different apps for finding where places are. Um, I just, it just, they're just not important to me. I don't need them. So I'm not 
of a generation that is used to sort of scrolling through apps and sort of stuff like that, which is where Windows 8 seems to be going. They're catering for that generation who have been brought up on technology, basically. And some of the rest of us are struggling, according to what comments I'm reading anyway. But I decided to say, people said, download Windows 7 and all the rest of it. And I thought, no, I'm going to have, I'm having enough problems with this computer without me introducing more. Because I don't, I don't like change. I don't like changing things from what, from the default setting, if you like, you know. So I thought, I'm going to stick with this Windows 8 and see what happens. And what I have discovered by sticking with it is that a lot of the stuff that I took for granted is not there. And I have to actually go and download it. So anybody getting Windows 8, you need to be careful of that, you know. Um, there we are, folks. They're not, that's not a bad haul. What I'm going to do is, now there's, there's the biggest stuff in there, you know. Where are we? There. So I'm, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do another bag in a minute and see can I get some bigger ones because uh, I want to bake these tonight. And what we do is, I generally bake twice as many potatoes as I need and then do twice baked potatoes the next day then and sort of scoop them out and fill them up with some sort of new filling and redo them and it's always lovely, you know. So there you are folks, Windows 8. Um, don't assume that anything that you knew is there because it's probably not, you have to buy it or find the alternative free online. And my experience has been so far that the Windows 8, um, on when the Windows 8 channel, the official Windows 8 channel, I think it's called, I'll put links up down below. Um, it's uh, the one to go to that I've found has been very, very useful. There's lots of others, but I've kind of stuck with him because he helped me out and um, on that specific issue and I kind of trusted him, you know. And thanks to all the rest of you because you put me into the, in the right direction for getting the information that I needed. So uh, that's enough of that. Um, what's there? There's about five pounds there, so I'm happy enough. I'll, I'll do a, a weigh, weigh them later and then put the the amount up on the screen. So thanks for watching, folks. I'm going to turn this off and then get another bag and get some more potatoes, okay? All the best now. Bye-bye.